this stuff. All right, so my name's Kat and I train out of CrossFit Dignes with Costa. And how long have you been here for? Uh, I've been here for about a year and a half now. And um, tell us a little bit about before you got into fitness. Okay, so uh, before I got into fitness, uh, putting it really simply, I was morbidly obese. Um, so, kind of a little bit of my backstory is I've lost uh, over 80 kilos. Um, so, that journey kind of initially started in, in a little gym called Lacey's out of Currambine. Um, and then it's kind of transitioned um, over the weight loss into CrossFit and training out of Dignus. And so, what was life like before you got into fitness as far as uh, mentally and how did you feel about yourself? Oh, okay, so it's a little bit complex, but um, looking back on it, I was very unhappy. Um, I used kind of food as a way to hide a little bit um, from the fact that I was unhappy. Um, I had very low self-confidence. Um, I was very lonely. I guess everyone can relate to that um, to a certain extent. I just chose to um, use my food as my loneliness outlet, I guess. Um, and it was just pretty horrendous, all around horrendous, depressive, anxious, all of those kind of nasty things. And then what was the trigger? Like, What made you get into fitness? I wish I could say there was kind of an open moment. It was more kind of, I guess, a build up. Like I tried numerous times to lose the weight. Um, I guess it was kind of a build up of things. So I had a really embarrassing moment when I went to the US with my friend where um, I sat on a um, Ferris wheel ride and I couldn't actually do up the seatbelt. And I remember thinking to myself, oh my God, this is the fattest nation in the world and I can't do up the seatbelt. Um, and it was a lot of little things like that um, that kind of all compounded um, into this one final kind of, if I don't do something about this, this will be the rest of my life. Um, and so from that point on, I kind of just really committed and, and got down to work. And then so you started training at Lacey, so what was your first experience of the gym like and had you had previous experience before? Um, I had had previous experience before, so I was actually a rower as a teenager and then I got injured and it kind of spiraled from there. Um, but I was never really, I've always been kind of lazy, inherently lazy unfortunately. Um, so kind of walking to Lacey's was one of, I still put it as the scariest thing I've ever done in my life. Um, because, you know, coming from a background where I was bullied quite badly, um, I had no self-confidence in walking into what appeared to me to be this absolute mecca of fitness. Girls with six packs and, you know, guys with their, their gear off, like sweating everywhere, completely unfamiliar. I'm a bit of an introvert, so it was really, really, really difficult. Funnily enough, I actually put it down to Justin Lacey, the owner of the gym. I think I would have quit well and truly into my third week, except he took the time to kind of pull me over and ask me how I was doing um, and I said to him I'm really sore I'm really tired I just can't keep going and he actually said to me if you can give me three more weeks three more weeks and I promise you it'll be better um, and just that really small tiny goal kept me going um, and I actually attribute a lot of it to him um, and just taking that time to actually I guess it's not really externally validate but actually show that someone was noticing and someone was caring about me and that I could do it and then You've dropped 30 kilos, so what was the process like to drop that amount of weight? It's actually over 80 oh, kilos, oh, sorry. so basically a whole costa, <laughs> minus his hand. Um, but um, yeah, it was a very long process. Um, it was hard. Um, but when I started, I think it was inconceivable that I'd actually achieve it. Um, and I think the only thing that kept me going was the mini goals, as opposed to saying, I'm going to lose 80 kilos. It was more, do you know what? I want to fit, like I want to be... It's double digits on the scale. I want to do this. I want to do that. Going. That's really, really epic. Um, nutrition? How did you go through the change? Like, what sort of changes did you make? So initially, it was actually Dan England. I was working out of laces at the time, um, and someone forced me into about four weeks into my journey. There, they forced me into meeting with him. Best decision of my life. He kind of looked at me and went, "This isn't working for you. We need to dial it back to basics." You've got no idea about nutrition, and I really didn't. Still don't. Um, but um, he simplified everything. He made it really easy. Um, and all of a sudden it wasn't missing some of my actual task of um, I have to eat healthily and then not understanding nutrition. It was slowly learning how to fuel my body to be happy. Awesome. And you're into CrossFit. You're one of the leanest people I've ever seen. That's how we met. I think I told you. <laughs> yes, that was your opening line. Yeah, yeah, yeah which, which stands true, which is an incredible change. Um, and so what keeps you going and now how do you feel being one of the fittest, leanest people that I've ever met? <laughs> well, first of all, thank you. That's very, very sweet. Um, I think I'm very fortunate in that um, my body um, 
once it kind of got used to the nutrition, it kind of leaned itself out. CrossFit's really built it. Obviously, because we do such highly functional, varied movements, um, we don't work precise muscles. So I've, this hasn't been built. It's just the sport has done it for me. Um, but not carrying that excess weight, like even though not everything's gotten better, um, my life quality has improved astronomically. That's all. Awesome. <laughs> That's awesome. And your advice to someone who wants to but is scared to undergo their own journey? Um, it will be the hardest thing taking that first step, um, but it will be the most rewarding experience of your life. Um, and don't set out to fail. So I think that's what, what made this one different is I didn't self-sabotage, I didn't set out to fail. I acknowledge that you can't make all the changes at once. It's not going to be this really um, quick fix because it's not going to be. Um, it took me 18 months to just hit goal weight and then it's taken me another year to, to look like I do to be fit. Um, and it was only through setting small tasks, achieving tasks rather than focusing on outcome that I was actually able to do it. Awesome, that's yeah. perfect. No Thank you so much. Anytime. <laughs>